the Rayovac Sportsman flashlight. My grandmother had a flashlight just like this. Mine happens to use two C cell batteries, but my grandmother's used three D cells. These are available on eBay in different conditions, but the C cell looks proportionately like the 3D cell flashlight and this one was in the best condition. Also it is compact. More of a grandmother flashlight than a <laughs> than a 3D cell but she took it to go down and feed the dogs and stuff after it was dark. It features the way it works is the batteries go in through the end it uses two C cell batteries. The area where the bulb is unscrews, but I'm not going to demonstrate that because when I got it, it didn't have a bulb in it at all. That's probably why nobody wanted it off of eBay. So I had a bulb, replaced the bulb, but when I tried to screw the lamp back onto the flashlight, there was a slight dent in it and it didn't want to go back on. <laughs> One thing I found fascinating about something that was made in the 70s, or possibly the 60s, is that they put an insulator on the inside. I was able to pull it out before, but it won't come out. Um, looks like made, it's made out of the, the formaldehyde stuff that they used in the 70s. I can't remember what it was called. Two C-cells, uh, cap screws on. Features a loop for hanging and a two position switch. You have on, yeah, we're working there, and you have a feature where it's a push button switch. Probably send more stuff, send a signal to somebody with it. But there you go the Rayovac Sportsman flashlight. Built anywhere from the mid-60s to the late-70s. Thank you.